Hi, I'm Falcon Yvai Parekh and in today's video I'm going to highlight five common mistakes that an employer makes when applying for a sponsorship license. The first mistake that the employer makes right at the inception of doing an application is by giving incomplete documentation and information. It is very pertinent that you give complete information, accurate information, as well as complete documentation. Sometimes the employer fails to give the proof of legal entities, they fail to provide the financial documents, there's no proper job descriptions which have been submitted. All of this results into either a refusal or a delay. The second one is lack of knowledge of sponsors' duties. Getting a sponsorship license is not the end of the road. You still have to comply with sponsors' duties, which includes um, checking the attendance correctly, checking the rights of the employee to work correctly, to maintain the records for the license that you've received. Not having this properly in place may result into penalties or revocation of license. Third, Insufficient HR processes. It's vital to establish effective HR system that can handle sponsor license compliance requirement. This includes maintaining accurate employee records, keeping track of visa expiration, and ensuring timely reporting to home office. Neglecting these processes can put your license at risk. Neglecting this may result into again penalties or revocation of your sponsorship license. The fourth mistake employers often make is neglecting to provide adequate training and knowledge sharing among their staff. Understanding the sponsor license requirement should not be limited to just one person in your organization. By educating your HR team and relevant employees about the process and compliance obligations, you can avoid errors and maintain a smooth operating system. The fifth is to take guidances from experts. Applying for a sponsorship license application is a complex area and these particular requirements are constantly changing. It is very important therefore to take some kind of a professional help with a qualified immigration solicitors or experienced professionals. This will help you to reduce the stress as well as it will ensure that there is no pitfalls and you meet with all the legal requirements to get through with the license on time particularly for the companies who are in a rush to call in their employees. These are the five common mistakes that an employer makes when applying for a sponsorship license. I hope you found this video informative. Please leave your thoughts in the comment box given below. Thank you for watching this video. Bye-bye.